If it seems like Chengdu is one of the world's best kept culinary secrets, that's the reality. For the gourmet traveler, discoveries lurk around every corner, but even explorers like Steve and Fuchsia need a break between meals. Thank goodness for Chengdu's tea houses, where a few hours spent in conversation or an afternoon of mahjong can help work up an appetite for the next great food adventure. This is one of my favorite tea houses. I used to come here virtually every day when I was a student to learn Chinese characters and sort of... Well, it looks like a very relaxing place. Oh, yeah, one of the best things about life in Sichuan. So this is, a, this is the favorite local tea. It's called Gai Wan Cha, lid bowl tea. So um, you have jasmine blossom tea, green, mm -hmm. green tea with jasmine blossoms. So you see the little saucer underneath protects your hand from the heat. And then you can use the lid to gently sweep away any stray leaves and flowers and then drink it. Mm. People in other parts of China think the Sichuanese are kind of idle, pleasure-loving people, like nothing more than to while away whole afternoons in tea houses, drinking tea, eating sunflower seeds, chatting, which they call bai lung menzhen, maybe um, having a little massage or something. I can see why. Yeah.